Hello Gemini, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my channel. This is your love and life reading focused on the second half of January 2020. General reading as always guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person tuning in. So please do take from this reading whatever makes sense for you, your life, your situation, your relationship and let go of what doesn't resonate. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And I'll also have a list of all of the card decks that are featured during this reading, Gemini. What I have chosen for you guys this time around, as far as the two card decks that I'll be using for your focus messages, we have the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight, and then the Hidden Truth Oracle by All Things Intuitive. So let's get started and let's take a look and see what messages you would benefit from this time around so angels and spirit guides for gemini as well as cross watchers and anyone else who's been guided to tune in and watch this reading let's take a look and see what your first focus message is whoops angels and spirit guides for gemini all right guys i am guided to this one. Ooh, look at that. Vows, commitment, promises, fidelity. That's a great card coming through. Some of you guys could have certainly just recently gotten married or are planning a wedding this year. Might be tied into that. Or for some of my Geminis, you might even have a surprise proposal sometime during the course of this year or even the second half of January. You never know. Okay, so let's see what else we can grab from the Hidden Truth Oracle by All Things Intuitive. So angels and spirit guides for Gemini, please bring forward additional focus messages for this reading for the second half of January 2020. All right, let's take a look. What is the Hidden Truth? Let's grab a couple from this deck. Let's grab this one. I hid who I really am from you. Let's grab one more. I wonder if you are happy without me. Okay, so it's interesting how those two cards are coming forward, clearly indicating that more than likely two people are in separation. So we've got such contradicting energies from the very first focus message of vows, commitment, promises, fidelity, and maybe somebody wasn't able to follow through with those vows and promises. Okay, so let's grab some additional guidance from the Mystic Moon Oracles to see where this reading goes, Gemini. Whoa, angels and spirit guides for Gemini, please. Or for cross watchers, anybody who's been guided to tune in here. What else do we need to know? What additional messages would Gemini benefit from at this time? What messages would you benefit from at this time for the second half of January? There are signs that are trying to grab your attention at this time, Gemini, and those signs are different for every single one of you tuning in. It's going to be significant for just you. If there's a particular name or number or a song or some other thing of significance, that would be that light bulb moment for you. That's what this sign is referring to. Interesting how we have that commitment card coming through again. Vows, commitment, promises, fidelity, it's coming through here again. So based off of the next card coming through, this is telling me that this either ended up not happening because somebody was really bad at commitment or they just couldn't follow through with whatever these promises are all about and or that they created a situation where fidelity was compromised. So somebody decided to abandon the connection and they're wondering, you know, I wonder if you are happy without me at this point. They're really wondering where you're at energetically or they're wondering if you're okay without them and how's life, etc., etc. We have unawakened right after that. So 
I do typically tap into divine masculine energy from that. So it, if I'm correct in my assessment of this, the divine masculine is unawakened to what it is that they walked away from. We do have mirroring energy, which is tied into twin flame connections for me. That mirror soul, that soul connection. Someone who is the other half of your soul. There's that mirroring energy. You guys are on the same page, even though you're not together at this time. Your energies are coming forward with very similar vibrations. You're mirroring each other. We do have the surrender card coming through as well. Female figure in that photo. So it could have been my divine feminines who abandoned the relationship because the divine masculine was unable to commit, hiding who he really was in the relationship, keeping secrets, Infidelity, couldn't keep promises, could not commit, or really bad at commitment. There are big dreams here. So you guys may have made a whole lot of plans, goals, dreams that you wanted to accomplish together. Divine masculine energy coming through here. Interesting how it's falling right below commitment. And I feel it could have been, again, my divine masculines who just could not commit. Who couldn't follow through. And now we've got deception coming through here. Infidelity, third parties, karmic partnerships, it's all tied into that. And as a result of this deception, I feel my divine feminines checked out. And that's what brought you guys out of balance. And there's a need to balance those scales. That's very similar to the Justice card in traditional tarot, which is tied into Libra energy. So the person that you're focused on could be a Libra, or you might have Libra in your chart. Falling right below unawakened, which I do tap into divine masculine energy from that. We've got return male figure in the photo falling right below mirroring realizing that this twin flame bond was something that they should not have let go of and then we've got female figure grief tied into the three of swords energy for me threes in tarot are all about communication i don't feel that you guys are communicating at this point or just very little of it if at all that grief card is tied into heartbreak, heartache, over a separation, over distance that drove the two of you apart. And ultimately, what created drama here is this deception. And here's a second reference to Twin Flame. So you guys are mirroring each other at this time. Someone was unable to commit, and I really do feel it was my divine masculines here. And my divine feminines decided to walk away, surrender it all, and just move on. But my divine feminine, definitely heartbroken here. Wow. Let's add to this. This is a beautiful card deck that I was gifted by Amy from Calico Moon Oracle. This is the Pining Rose Volume 2 deck, the Twin Flame Ascension Oracle. So let's take a look and see what else needs to come through here with this Twin Flame connection for you, Gemini. Angels and Spirit Guides focusing on Gemini for the second half of January 2020. What else do we need to know here? What else needs to come forward in this reading, Gemini? Someone wants forgiveness for what they've done. Look at this next card. A third reference to a twin flame connection. Mirroring, and then we've now got two twin flame cards coming through from two different card decks. 
So no doubt about it, this is coming through for Gemini's as very heavy twin flame representation in this reading. Most of you guys are familiar what the twin flame connection is, but for those who aren't, it is someone who is your mirror soul, the other half of your soul, your true energetic counterpart in this lifetime. We only have one twin flame. You can have more than one soulmate, but just one twin flame. It's a soul that splits in two. One soul and two bodies. Look at this. Blocked. Falling right below abandoned and deception. That's no accident. Female figure in the photo. So I feel it's my divine feminines who blocked the divine masculine here. And that's why they're wondering, you know, are you happy without them? Because they can't quite figure out what's going on, especially if you block them from seeing what you've been up to. Look at this next card. Reflection for me again is tapped into mirroring energy, which again is twin flame connection. Very similar energies once again from two different card decks. Unbelievable. It keeps repeating that message of twin flame here. Dream world. So they've either been dreaming about you, you've been dreaming about them, or you guys have both been seeing each other in your dreams. We also have tragedy coming through here, falling right below surrender, falling right below grief. And yeah, it's what happened here could have been avoided. So if you guys can't overcome this, it is a tragic ending to a rather good connection. And I have a divine feminine here who's heartbroken and had to surrender really what they didn't want to surrender because they care for you. There's legitimate love here. It really depends, of course, whether you are the divine feminine or divine masculine here. But someone had to let this go. Somebody had to walk away from it. Somebody chose to surrender the connection because of the deception, the infidelity, broken promises, the inability to commit, bad commitment. Interesting. Okay, let's add to this with some tarot. Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon Oracles. We've got so many Twin Flame representations in this reading. I think we've got, what is it, four? One, two, three, and then the reflection card. Yeah, four references to Twin Flame. So what better deck to use? Twin Flame journey tarot which i use a lot anyway but very fitting for this particular reading guys so angels and spirit guides for gemini what else do we need to know for this reading for the second half of january 2020 what else do we need to know here is there a potential of working this out for a twin flame reconciliation let's take a look at that but some, someone is remorseful over what happened here. They want forgiveness. And I feel it's my divine masculine who really needs to wake up to what's going on. We do have the Wheel of Fortune coming through, but it is falling in the reverse here. In the upright, it's a great card. Wheel of Fortune is fire, so it is... Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. But it is falling reversed, so that's how I'm going to have to read it. So the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is losing control or clinging to control of a situation. It could also be tied into bad luck, unfortunately. It's falling right below signs and big dreams, so a streak of bad luck here in regard to what's happened between the two of you, as well as in life. This ultimately is a love and life reading. So if you've had a streak of bad luck in your life, could be tied into that. 
we do have the five of wands coming through here more fire energy leo aries sagittarius once again this is, this card is all about conflict and competition and when there's deception infidelity third parties karmic partnerships and you feel like you're vying for someone else's attention someone else's love and affection then yeah you feel like you're in competition with somebody else and that's a part of the energy here interesting how it falls right below commitment and the divine masculine so again it could have been the divine masculine who created these energies and situations of entertaining too many people creating conflict between the two of you and making somebody feel that they were spreading themselves too thin you know it's just that element of competition feeling like there is more than one person involved here more than three people possibly for some of you the five of wands too is all about disagreements so you guys might have had your fair share of arguments here we also have the ten of wands which is more fire a lot of fire coming through here and twin flames definitely very fiery energy there this is all about those heavy burdens that we carry interesting how it's falling right below abandoned and deception and there is a female figure in this particular deck so i'm feeling it's my divine feminines who chose to put those burdens down lay them down didn't want to carry it any further had to surrender it got too heavy those responsibilities and burdens just were were just too heavy for this person to carry and i do feel that i'm picking up off of divine feminine energy there so rather than continuing to carry that heaviness as a result of the deception however way it represented itself in the situation someone chose to walk away here we do have the two of wands wow we've got fire energy all the way across here planning and decisions that two of wands is progress and it is tapping into planning and decisions as this card states There's a need for those decisions to be made here at this time. But I feel that there's work that needs to be done here first in order to be able to decide what needs to happen here. We also have the Knight of Swords coming through. So that's air. That's your own energy, Gemini, as well as Libra and Aquarius. We already have Libra being represented here through this Balancing the Scales card, which is the Justice card for me in traditional tarot. The need for clarity, the need for the truth. And it's interesting how it's falling right below that Unawakened card. So I feel my Divine Masculines need to bring that clarity and truth forward, but if they're unawakened, they're not able to do that at this time. So it could be my divine feminines who are just trying to figure things out moving forward, trying to make new decisions here and plan for a better future in their love life, in life in general, however way this is be being represented. Of course, if you happen to be divine feminine Gemini, then this is you. This is your own energy here, just trying to find balance in your life. more fire eight of wands the eight of wands is an energy surge and communication so there is a potential that you might hear from this person they definitely want you back they want forgiveness they want to come forward with an apology 
But remember, you know, we've got that blocked message that came through earlier. So I feel here my divine feminines might have blocked communication somehow. And we have that page of cups coming through with that message of love. So what I'm feeling here is somebody wants to contact the other person to be able to apologize and come forward with perhaps a plan on how to fix the situation and to just lay it on the line, you know, as that focus message says, I hid who I really am from you. And maybe they're ready to just fess up and just get it off their chest as to what it is that they're feeling, how it is that they're feeling about what went down and how they truly feel about you. That cup's energy is water. So for some of you, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or you might have those signs in your chart. That's a possibility. We do have the Five of Cups coming through as well. So that's more water. Old Wounds. The Five of Cups is loss. It's regret. It is bereavement. It's very much tied into this grief card here. It's pretty heavy. Got to get the uh, energy of the five of cups moving forward away from that so you can start the healing process and at the end of the day it's about someone who was disappointed in how things ultimately played itself out in this connection once again guys twin flame connection do you see it down on the bottom this is the lover's card, which of course is your very own energy, Gemini. So there's a need for a decision here. Whether that decision falls on you or the other person, it's here. That's a part of that energy of the lovers. And yeah, it's a deep spiritual union. You guys are still very much attracted to each other. You guys can start over if you can overcome the struggles and obstacles that stood in the way of your partnership somebody wants to apologize somebody is in need of forgiveness they are remorseful for what's happened between the two of you so yeah yet another reference to twin flames here interesting okay so let's move on from that and let's add some romance angels to this. And let's take a look and see if a reconciliation is possible here. Angels and spirit guides for Gemini for the second half of January 2020. What else needs to come forward here for Gemini? Sorry, one second. For Gemini, what else do we need to know? Angels and spirit guides. It starts with you. You got to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Next message is calling in your soulmate. So that's a first reference to soulmate. We have very heavy twin flame representation in this reading. This particular card reads your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so yeah somebody definitely wants you back and i feel you guys are mirroring each other's energies so i feel you're on the same page as this person gemini that you're both ultimately wanting to work on this partnership and come back together some of you guys had children whether together or from previous relationships Part of the energy, too, of that children card for me occasionally taps into someone who was just being very immature at the time. We also have the retreat card here. As you can see, that's a married couple in the photo. So we started off with vows, commitment, promises, fidelity, and then we have the commitment card right there. So I feel here, if you guys were married, that this deception created a lot of issues in your marriage and for those of you who are struggling with that perhaps you guys went into separation 
So you're either trying to overcome those obstacles and work through it, or you just went into separation. Again, it could be my divine feminines who chose to create distance here and just abandoned the relationship because that retreat energy is somebody who's backing away from something rather than coming towards it. We do have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Part of the reason why that is, Gemini, is because you both have your own free will. You can't control them. They can't control you. You both have your own free will. So just allow the situation to unfold the way it is meant to. We also have the new love card coming forward. For those of you who have abandoned the relationship and are not interested in a reconciliation, you do have a new love that's coming in for you. Another interpretation of this card is a second chance at love, a new chapter with that person to be able to start over, start fresh, a new beginning. This could be your romance of a lifetime, your true love. Some of you guys may have known each other in a past life. You have known each other before. And perhaps when you guys connected in the very beginning, perhaps you've always felt like you've known this person all along or that you feel like you've met them before. There's just that sense of familiarity with, with this person, this type of connection. There are those of you who might be dealing with codependency and addictions that affected your romantic life and perhaps it could be my divine masculines who had that problem and it might be tied into i hid who i really am from you especially if they were hiding their addictions from you gemini this could also be reversed if this is you that's going through this so clearly there are red flags here as a result of that deception that's why somebody walked away but it is telling you, Gemini, that if you're willing to overcome the challenges and work on this together, you guys have the potential to overcome the obstacles that are in the way that's preventing the two of you from being together at the moment. And it does say stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, whether that is in the form of a new love or a new chapter in love with your person. And we come full circle with the deception energy, okay? That's ultimately what created trouble here between the two of you. Somebody wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, so let's see what else needs to come through here, guys. Let's grab some additional messages for you, Gemini, and let's see what else needs to come forward here. So let's add to this with some Lover's Oracle. So angels and spirit guides for Gemini for the second half of January 2020. For Gemini, second half. There we go. Let me grab that next card I've guided to pull the next one. Okay. So first message, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Absolutely. And again, that ties into your free will and what it is that you choose to do. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. This always reminds me of two people who fit perfectly together and when you guys are apart it's almost like there's a missing piece to your puzzle a missing piece to your heart that type of energy and there's also passion coming through here a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it okay so i do feel you already know this gemini that there's always been this magnetic draw between the two of you and for those of you guys who were intimate, it could have certainly been a very passionate connection for the two of you in that way. Okay, so let's set that aside and then let's go ahead and add some dialogue to this. This is another deck by 
Amy from Calico Moon Oracle, and she was nice enough to gift me this card deck. This is the 5D Love Messages Oracle deck. So let's add to this. So focusing on your person, Gemini, what is it that they would want to say to you if they could, and or these are words and feelings and thoughts that you would want to say to your person if you had the opportunity to do so. So we'll grab a few messages from this deck, whichever one you are guided towards and whatever resonates with you. Let's take a look and see what comes forward. So who is it that needs to speak up at this time? Who needs to speak up for this Gemini reading? You left me out in the cold. Yeah, that's how someone is feeling here. Someone abandoned the connection and the person that was abandoned feels like they were left out in the cold. So it could be my divine masculines who are feeling that way. Anybody actually it could be divine masculine or feminine. It doesn't really matter. But somebody is coming through with that sentiment. You left me out in the cold. Next message. I can't believe I let you get away. Yeah, because someone surrendered and somebody abandoned the connection here. Next message. Why don't you reach out to me? First of all, someone blocked the other person. That is preventing communication from happening at this time. But with the Eight of Wands that's coming through here, eventually communication will be happening between the two of you. Next message, you have been on my mind. Next card, it was just too much for me at the time. Let's grab a couple more. I see you and everyone I meet. I have feelings for someone else, but I can't stop thinking of you. Okay, so we already know that there's deception here. And there might continue to be deception going on here for some of you guys. So there are those of you who are in connection with somebody or are thinking about someone for this reading, of course, and you're not together. You guys are in separation and they're telling you very clearly here, I have feelings for someone else, but I can't stop thinking of you, which creates even more drama here. I feel like grabbing a couple more. I have never loved anyone as much as I love you. That's coming through for some of you. And one more. I miss you. So take those for however way they resonate with you. Lots of sentiments and messages coming through there for Gemini. All right, guys. So let's add to this with some healing messages. Angels and spirit guides for Gemini, please. What else do we need to know? Please bring forward some healing messages for this reading. For Gemini for the second half of January. 2020. Okay, some healing messages for you guys. Let's take a look and see what's coming forward. Some healing messages for Gemini. Divine timing. Self-acceptance. Listening. And new love. Okay. So starting off with divine timing. This is a situation that is going to take some time to unfold the way it is meant to. For some of you, it's just giving you the opportunity to move forward from this, to learn from it. You have surrendered, you have abandoned the connection, and it's definitely a lesson that needs to be learned. But it's going to take time for that healing to occur. Self-acceptance is key here, to be able to accept yourself for everything that you are, 
to be able to love yourself first is key. Listening to your intuition, your gut, to the angels, your loved ones, people that matter most to you. If you have turned to prayer, it could be the angels communicating with you at this time. So definitely listen to those messages that are coming forward, as well as this reading. If there are particular messages that have come through here and you feel guided to accept them, then absolutely listen to the guidance that's being offered here for some of you. And we have a new love. Okay. I believe that came through already, didn't it? Yeah. So that's a second reference to new love coming through here. So again, either a new person that has the capability of coming into your life, Gemini, or a new beginning in love with the person that wants you back. You guys are mirroring each other. You guys are coming forward very heavily as twin flames in this reading. And if you can both overcome the challenges that were brought forward as a result of this deception, then you guys can actually fix this situation and recover from it. But if not, then you have the option to move forward, move on, and find love elsewhere. That's what's coming through here. All right, guys. So let's close out your reading with some final thoughts from the Guardian Angels. If I can grab this last card. Hold on. Okay. Some final thoughts for Gemini to close out this reading for the second half of January 2020. Final thoughts for Gemini. So it really depends, Gemini. It ultimately is your choice whether you want to be able to entertain this person coming back to you or if you are just ready to walk away. And if you have already walked away and surrendered this connection, there is new love that has the capability of coming into your life. But clearly somebody was really bad at commitment here or they just weren't able to follow through with their promises or stay faithful in the connection. Okay. And let me grab this bottom of the deck. All right, Gemini, you've got opportunities coming your way. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There is nothing to regret. All is always in perfect and divine order. Everything that you've ever experienced has helped you in some way. The past is behind you. The path ahead is clear. Move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desire. Awesome message. And we end with inspiration. A wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. It is important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wondrous ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. So whatever it is that you are inspired by at this time, these big dreams, these goals, go for it. Nothing is standing in your way, Gemini. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this reading. I hope whatever part of it you were able to resonate with, that it offered you the guidance that you needed at this time. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for being here, for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care.